This is Dr. Todd Harris from the Fibroid Treatment Center. Um, a lot of women ask us what exactly is entailed with a uterine fibroid embolization. So we wanted to walk you through one. Um, a woman would get checked in here in the preoperative area. She'd have an IV placed. Um, she's wheeled back to a procedure room that's right there adjacent to the preoperative area. Um, once in the room, uh, IV sedation is given so the patient will be more comfortable. Uh, a woman will have that uh, x-ray machine over her pelvis area so that we can take x-rays um, of the arteries. There will be some basic equipment on the back table as you can see there. One of our other video goes into more details uh, about the materials used and you can watch that. So once the sedation is given we give local anesthetic there in the groin. We put a small IV or a sheath um, into the artery that's in the groin. We'll feed a catheter and a wire into the artery and as one of our other videos pointed out, we can actually control that catheter and that wire. We can spin the catheter and spin the wire to get almost 360 degree range of motion on the catheter. So we're going to put that catheter and that wire uh, into the artery. And as you can see here on the screen, uh, we're going to advance the catheter and the wire. And we're starting off, we, we go into the right artery, which is actually on the left side of your screen. Um, and we go up and over. Uh, from the patient's right side to the patient's left side. So you can see that here. We're going to advance that wire down into the area kind of where we think the uterine artery and the fibroid arteries are going to be. We then advance a different uh, shaped catheter up and over from the right to the left side. We're going to remove that wire and once the wire is removed we're going to take x-rays uh, of the pelvis. So we want to see exactly where the artery is that is feeding the fibroids on the patient's uh, left side. So we use that little roadmap trick right there where the arteries are changed into that little white, uh, the white line so that we can help navigate the catheter over the wire there and into the left uterine artery. So once we've got the catheter secured in place there, we're actually going to take that wire out and we're going to do an x-ray from the left side. So you can see the catheter. It's in position there. We're going to inject uh, some contrast, which is a dye, um, and we'll take x-rays. So as you can see here, there's that large thick artery and it feeds a large fibroid in the uterus there. So as we freeze the picture there, you can almost make out a, a sphere or a ball um, of dark contrast and that's actually the fibroid itself. So if we do it again here, we'll freeze it and you can see the large artery going into the fibroid um, and then all the smaller uh, little arteries that feed the fibroid. And you can see that kind of spherical nature to the fibroid. So we know we're in the correct position at this point. So we're gonna take the uh, catheter, we're gonna inject some little microscopic particles into the fibroid and into the artery to close off the blood flow into the artery. So then once we've flushed the catheter, we'll do another x-ray. And as you can see there, the dye is no longer going into the uterine artery and the fibroid arteries and there's no more flow. It's actually going to go backwards up the catheter and then down into the normal arteries in the left side of the pelvis. So we know we did uh, a complete embolization there on the left side. So we're going to readjust the catheter. Um, we're going to now try to find the artery on the right side of the pelvis um, that's feeding the remaining portion of the fibroid. So again we're using the wire, we're using that catheter, uh, we're going to kind of spin the catheter and the wire around to get in the correct position. So we're going to bring it down into the right pelvis now and again we're going to take the wire out, we'll do an x-ray just to see kind of where the uterine artery is um, so we can get a little overview. And we saw a little flash of it there, it wasn't real defined yet because uh, we, there were a lot of other arteries but we're going to advance the wire similar to uh, the way we did on the left side. We'll use that little road map, we'll advance the wire um, into the right uterine artery now which is feeding the right side of the fibroids and then we're going to put the catheter over that. So from the right side of the pelvis, again we're going to take an x-ray, we're going to inject that dye, take the x-ray and we'll see again, similar to the left side, a large uterine artery with all those smaller little tiny curly arteries that are going into the fibroid and feeding it. So you can almost see the other half of the fibroid compared with what we saw on the left side. So we'll definitely want to embolize this side because we won't want the fibroid to come back. We won't want the bleeding to continue and only doing the left side would only be half treatment. So once we're in correct position, which we confirm with this x-ray, 
Um, we're going to take those same little microscopic particles, we're just going to inject them into that area, that uh, into the catheter, and then we're going to flush the catheter out um, and shut down the blood supply from, to the right side of that uh, fibroid. Again, we're going to take another final x-ray here, and as you can see, there's no more flow into that right, uh, the right half of that fibroid. So we know we did a good embolization. Um, another look at that same uh, x-ray here, no more flow into the fibroid. So we've done the left side, uh, we've done the right side. Uh, once those are completed, uh, we know that we've done a, uh, the complete uterine fibroid embolization here. We're going to remove the catheter. Um, so we're going to kind of steer that catheter into a position where we can take it out. Um, and once the catheter is out, we actually use a small little uh, device to seal the artery um, where we had put the IV or that sheath into. And then that's it. A woman will recover for a couple of hours um, and then be free to go. So um, we hope that helped a little bit. Um, we certainly encourage you to ask any questions. Um, email our office. We're certainly uh, here to answer them. Um, and we'd be happy to schedule you for a consultation um, if desired. Thank you.